Hey guys, Coffee here. Uh, I'm just gonna be playing some randoms. Uh, I'm just gonna get a lobby at the 30s and uh, and just play whoever suits me. So it's all right. Uh, so we're playing against some player I've never played against before. Some guy from Germany. Um, so I'm just gonna be playing my readless game, uh, trying to play the best I can given population tendencies. You know, given what I expect random players to play like. Um, so this is really close to a raise for thin value. Um, I lean towards it being too thin. And in particular, I like to raise a lot of bluffs over limps, so I want to lower my frequency. I don't want a thin value bet too much, because then I'm raising even more often, and it becomes more obvious that I'm bluffing. So here we, we hit top pair, uh, pair of tens. Um, we do just check call. Um, there's no value in check raising, and uh, we do have a good enough hand where you can check call flop. And this is really close. Um, we have some pot odds, but I mean, we're dead a lot of the time. Um, and I just don't expect Villain to bluff much here. I'm just going to hero fold my pair of tens. So, all right. Uh, get the wrong HUD picked. Let's see. Okay, so let's go to the coffee HUD. All right, we got the coffee HUD up. So, so I limp uh, all the bottom of my range. Um, I think it's more profitable than open folding and more profitable than min raising. Uh, I found that historically true. Um, so here we have ace-queen. We were planning on three-bet shoving this anyways. When Villain 3Xs, we're even more happy about it. We get more wide calls. We also get more fold equity when um, when Villain is bluffing. So it's really awesome. And we, we're in a flip situation. Hey, we won. Awesome. Um, so now we're six big blinds deep. And, and I do still tend to play a really wide range. I'm still going to limp this and stab post. Um, it's really close, though. I mean, this is where limping becomes really, really close to open folding. Six big blinds deep. Um, so here we've got Jack-5 suited, and this is where it's worth checking up Nash. Um, you know, it's 6.9, so it's really close to a call. But the population open shoves a lot tighter than Nash, so it's actually a pretty snap fold. Um, I mean, to give you an idea, at that stack depth, I would probably be calling something like Jack-8, Jack-7 suited. Um, I would be folding Jack-6 suited. Anyways, I mean, Jack-7 suited, I would probably hero fold as well. Um, so this is 8 big blinds. This is also really close between limping and open shoving. Um, open shoving here is a very profitable option, but so is limping. Um, you still get a lot of uh, checkbacks. Uh, we, yes, he has ISO does, but whatever. Um, I'm pretty happy just limp folding there. Um, as we get more reads, we would just open shove it. I mean, now if we had it the next hand, I would open shove it because we've seen him shove um, every time we've limped so far. And we've seen him ISO every time we've limped, so uh, we would definitely just be doing that. Um, so here again, we're five big blinds deep. Or no, six big blinds deep. Uh, sorry, he, he shoved. Um, and this is a hand that needs six big blinds to call, so we just hero fold, especially when he doesn't even bet his whole stack. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And, and now we're seven big blinds, and I'm just open shoving for value. Um, it's tempting to limp here to trap, but a seven off doesn't trap that well, because whenever villain checks back, he gains a little bit of equity from us. Um, it's not a super playable holding. If I had a seven suited, it'd be closer. If I had ace ten suited, I'm definitely trapping. But with a7 off, it's just not um, a hand that, you know, it just doesn't induce well enough to make up for all the times when we don't win. Uh, when, when we villain checks back, sorry. And and we don't win it outright. So we're still fine getting folds. This is a pretty snap fold. I don't even need to check Nash. Um, and this is getting close. And I think I am going to limp trap this. Um, I've limp folded a bunch. This is pretty playable now. This dominates a lot. It's a long, lot of strong hands posts that do really well. And we really are anticipating a really wide shoving range, so we're really happy limp trapping here. And uh, we did trap successfully, but he got there. It's all right. Got it in 65% equity. Pretty happy with that. So we're checking back 5-4. Um, I do bluff a lot, as I said, but 5-4 plays all too well. And, and I do stab every dry board. You just get so many folds on dry boards. Don't worry about what you rep or don't rep. You're overthinking the hand if you're thinking about what hands you're repping at that kind of spot. Villain misses a lot. He's going to play fit fold. Just take it down. Um, so we've got king six here with 13 big blinds. Um, this is really close between limping, min race folding, even open shoving. Um, given how how aggro he's been versus my limps, I'm not limping. Um, it's a small sample, but a big enough sample. Um, so I'm just going to min race fold. Open shoving should be very close to min race folding, though. Um, but I, I don't know. We're getting some more aggro reads now. We're probably a little less happy min raising, but that's all right. As we develop more reads, we can be quicker and quicker with adaptations. So this is, again, I'm actually going to limp trap here. Um, we got pretty good reads. Dude likes to shove over limps. And this hand plays really well when we flat. And this is close when he min raises. I'm actually going to shove here for value. I do think we get called by a lot of weaker hands, like Queen Jack, Queen Ten. A lot of hands are stuck calling. And we don't mind folding out some equity share there anyways. Um, and here, this is a pretty clear shove over his limp. Um, and we're just open folding. So now we have reads to open fold. 
Um, we really don't like limping. He's been really aggro, so we're not really sure we can we can min raise either. So we're really happy just open folding. Um, five eight uh, nine point five. So we're just checking back here. It's kind of close to trying to raise as a bluff again. Um, but again, we're a little connected, and this is not a dry board, so I'm not betting it. Um, it's close because we do have a gut shot, but I think we're just check folding, and we're pretty happy about it. I mean, our gut shot's really pretty bad, and this is just such a bad board for us because so many hands hit and are connected to the board. So I think check folding there's fine. Um, so this is where, again, we're thinking about trapping. Villain's been really aggro. But Minray's calling is a better option than limping because, again, we don't really want to give him too many free... Uh, flops. Um, and so we'd much rather limp a uh, min raise so we still get some fault. And this is actually really close when Villain open shoves. Um, this is a lot of 8x, but given how aggro he's been, I am just going to hero call here. Um, there's a lot of weird flushes. I mean, it's, this is sort of a polarized range between 8x and air, and I think we can call it off. Um, and 8x and like flush draws. It's really close though. Um, obviously, I mean, the issue is that a lot of his flush draws still have good equity versus us. He's got 46% there. Um, I, it depends a lot on your perception of the population. I think it's probably fine to hero fold. I think readless, I would be hero folding, but my perception is she's been really aggro, so he's capable of doing that with complete air. So here are four big lines. We weren't going to fold to a shove, but hey, let's flat. Um, there's a lot of boards where we can potentially fold on. This isn't one of them. We would be check calling because we have so much equity with our two live cards, but hey, let's just open shove. Maybe he'll fold. Probably not, but whatever. We would have had to call a shove anyways. We have too much equity um, not to call a uh, bet there. Right, we had 35% on the flop. So we would have had to call a shove anyway. So, yeah, maybe we can fold out a little equity share here and there. I mean, it does happen. Um, so, But I still think flatting pre-flop is slightly better than, than just three-bet shoving. You have no fold equity, and so why not play a flop? I mean, yes, most of the time you're getting it in, but occasionally you can hero fold, and occasionally you might get him to do something stupid. Um, so we're eight big blinds. Um, this You can consider up other options like limping or mid-raising, but not versus him. He's just been too aggro. We just want to open shove and get as many folds as possible. Let's see if we, we don't get a rematch. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And GG Gerd.